Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. What progress has been made on expanding the role of, role of enrolled nursing in New Zealand? The Hon. Tony Ryle. Mr Speaker, over the past few years, the role and status of enrolled nursing has been marginalised in New Zealand, with many hospitals no longer willing to employ them. With enrolled nurse numbers dwindling to just over 3,000 practising today, one of the first actions taken by the new government was to work with the Nursing Council and the New Zealand Nurses Organisation to restore and expand the scope of enrolled nurses in the public health service. The Nursing Council has now issued a wider scope of practice and this has been welcomed by the health service. Michael Woodhouse. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what areas of the health service will enrolled nurses now be able to work in again? The Honourable Tony Ryle. Mr Speaker, a new curriculum will be put in place next year, as will a new 18-month diploma for enrolled nursing. By completing competence assessments over the next year, the new scope of practice will allow enrolled nurses to again work in surgical theatres, acute services and mental health. This is an example of how the New Zealand Public Health Service can be innovative and flexible in better meeting the needs of New Zealanders after the nine years of failure opposite. The Honourable Annette King. Speaker, does it surprise the Minister of Health to learn that it was a national government that stopped funding and training enrolled nurses in the 1990s, and it was a Labour government that brought back the second-tier nurses and started the training of them again. So there are some now available to take up a greater role. Mr. Speaker. Order. 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 I haven't quite order. I haven't no, called the minister yet. I mean, we have debates about how responsible ministers are for stuff that went on in the 1990s, but I guess the question was, is the minister surprised? So an opinion is being sought. The Honourable Tony Ryle. Uh, Mr Speaker, what surprises me is that that member opposite fails to realise she was in a government that said to enrolled nurses, you're not entitled to that, you're going to be called a nurse assistant. And you're not going to be able to work in a hospital. And this government has changed that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, point of order. Point of order. Order. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Order. A point of order has been called, the Honourable Annette King. Mr. Speaker, I seek leave to table a doc document from the Nursing Council who decided what enrolled nurses would be called. It was not made by the order. Minister. No, no, order the member. No, no, I'm just no, responding no, 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 to no, no, the, the Minister is not going to debate the matter now. No. Leave has been sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. I beg your pardon, there is objection. Order, 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 order. I misheard, and uh, I guess on this occasion it's the Honourable Tony Ryle who should use a bigger voice. This place was once built, you know, for, for, to uh, carry human voices without the use of microphones, and, and I should be able to hear if a member uses a loud enough voice. I'm sorry, the member objected to that uh, leave being sought, so leave is not granted. Question number 11, Jacinda.